what we're going to do is we're going to demonstrate for you all how we uh, process our deer. Um, not very hard. Hopefully we can do something to show you and, and give you some ideas on how we do it. Notice we hang the deer by their neck. Reason for that is the deer's hair runs that way and you're going with the hair instead of against it. Plus two, here in just a few minutes we're going to show you a very neat little trick that we do because the older we get our hand grips get a little bit rough. Um, so stay with us for a second and we'll, uh, I'll get to that point and then we'll show you. What I'm going to do start right here where I, where I gutted this deer at. I'm going to start under the brisket here. I'm going to run this hairline all the way up its neck. Then I'm going to take on each on the inside of each front leg, cut her out up to the up to where I just should stop cutting. What you'll notice, you can see, is I have a nice spot now to work this deer down. Um, all right. Then what I do, take this knife. I go around the neck, go all the way around the neck, all the way around the neck, come out the other side, all right, let me take, feel this, down, I don't know if you can see it if I'm in your way or not, but I'm turning this so you can see what I'm doing here. Peel this deer down to where we can get our little secret. I want you to that. Like slap on the neck. Peel this down. Down the leg. Here, right here. Get that loose. Make sure it's started. Back around this side. Continue this down, on down, turn the deer around, yeah I will, I'm just working it down so I can take a seat from the back what I'm trying to do here, as you can see, I'm working it down, oh, get this here. down and get this off here while I'm here, just getting the other leg like this one. Making them both the same. Get the hair out from underneath of it. That way, there's no pull of them yet. So it's easy on our hands, especially when you get old like Luke is. Yeah. All right, folks. So now that we're at this point, we take ourselves. Oh, I should have gone with my little guy. Right there, it's off the <laughs> Stuck me. Rock. Go under the, under the skin on the outside. Make a little spot. Take our cable. Take our cable. Cinch it tight around it. Now, if you see this, I got something to grip, and it's it's gripping tight. Hook our cable, our winch from our mule onto it. It's a little machine you would hear in a minute. It's the actual winch on the front of our machine here. Folks, it's as easy as this. Once you get, once it gets going. I'm gonna spin this around the table. All right, show them the setup there, Pop. It's as easy. Okay, here's our mule, and of course we have the winch on the front. And if you don't have a winch, you can. Uh, you can just use a, a four-wheeler or a truck or something to... All right, what I'm going to do now back. is cut these front legs off. Simple as that, folks. All right, now. So now we pull. Now we're over. ready. This is as easy as this. Oh, 
Almost too easy. Almost not fair. Alright, alright. Alright, there. Now, what I'm gonna do. Now you're gonna. Yeah, I don't do that. I did that last. I'll do it last. What I'm gonna do is take these shoulders off. Handle the pops there, and we'll put them on the tray. I'll show you how I do it. I'll do it different now that you taught me that technique of cutting the pelvis open. Yummy. Mmm. All right, so. Um, what I'm going to do now on the, with the back legs are connected, I'm going to go in, I'm going to cut through both of them here, cut them off and around, and Pop's going to use that saw, that saw there, I'm going to cut right down through that bone, cut them off. Now this is the way Luke does it from this point on, I do it a little different. Uh, I actually leave it hang like that and I cut the back straps out and the tenderloin out of the inside first while it's still hanging. Well, I can get the tenderloin out for you first while it's hanging. Get flat on. What I'm going to do though, get rid of that. I just learned a little technique on, a little bit different technique on how to. Fat little guy, huh? Yeah, he was Fattened up for the winter. We'll go ahead and get this all off here. Get it down. Bring it up. Okay. Now I'm gonna take these out. We'll go ahead and take these tenderloin out of the inside. Wait, wait, wait. Once you point towards our house. Let them know what that is there. All right, folks. Right here, on the inside of this deer, is what they call the tenderloin. Believe it or not, all of them years I didn't know. No, they call this the tenderloin. It makes sense because it's down at his loin area. But I'll show you here. Some people call it uh, the fish. Look at that. Now let me tell you something about that. That is the most tender. Dad can back me up on this one. The most tender part of the deer you'll ever eat in your life, right there. That is awesome, right there. I would say that's probably because it's the less used muscle in the whole entire body. That's just my opinion, the way you're thinking there. Makes sense. Look, I'm not even really cutting, folks. This you can is just, actually just right out of that deer. Actually, when the, it's hanging for a little bit in the, in the proper weather, you can actually uh, pull those out with your fingers by moving your fingers underneath. All right, now that I'm to this point, we're going to go ahead and cut off the back legs, and then I'm going to show you what I do next. Deer free, folks, as you can see. From so, the hide. Now, I'm going to take the tail off of this deer. As you can see, we, we skinned his tail, his tail completely out. Now, I'm going to take it off. <laughs> Try not to wear the stuff on my face like I just did. Just pull up on, jerk up on it. I did, yeah. It splashed me with blood. He's mad at me. Normally I don't use this on the tail. I don't want to dull my knife. There it is. Well, son, if you'd have done it like I taught you, All right, now, you'd have got it first crack. Uh, now, take this saw. Now, we have, we have already, on the pelvis right here, we've already cut the bottom apart to get his bow out of there. So now, on the back side, right here, where the tail was, I'm going to come all the way up and split, these, split this pelvis in half. This 
just like that. Alright, and now this one. Yeah. Let's go across here. Alright. Now Pop's gonna hold on to it and I'm gonna take it off, folks. There you have one. One nice ham. Soon to be two. Alright, now we'll get the second one. And you have two. Alright, now. Yummy. Next step for me, the reason I did it that way myself, my theory is, now when I clean all this out and take the tenderloin out, I can just cut them all the way down and they'll just peel right off from where the hips used to be hooked. I don't have to worry about wasting or losing anything. Get all, we'll go ahead and clean this thing up a little bit, get all this junk off of it. down. It's easier to get it all off while he's hanging than it is to try to deal with it while he's and you're up there cutting him up. As you can see, tenderloin exposed, right? The back strap, sorry, back strap exposed. So now I'm gonna follow the edge all the way down. Maybe. I'll just come in. Come the other side. Follow it up. Cut it off. I'm going to turn around and show them how I feel it. Hold that here right there. Honey. Stop a minute. Oh, let me show you what, the way that I do it. This is him doing it. This is the way I do it, folks. And I didn't do this one very well, but I'll get the next one better for you, I promise. But see how... Let me pull right out. Yeah, I'm going to get this. I don't want to waste any. Yeah, take it. And the reason I cut the hindquarters off first, so I could take this all the way down to there, and boom, you got it. See how look good that looks? And I didn't waste any meat down here at all. Now the way that I do it, I'm gonna let Luke do it here. Go ahead and get that off there. Clean this thing up, man. But the way that I do the tenderloins is I'll go down along the backbone all the way down and I'll just keep peeling along the ribs all the way down until I get it all cut out. Let him try that this time and see how it works. That's what I usually do too. That's what you usually do too? Yeah, that last one I messed up. <laughs> you messed up? Mm-hmm. As you can see, Peeling it out. That way you, you stay tight against the ribs. All right, then I, the other side, I just make a line. Follow the rib cage. There's a, there's a little skinny line down along this rib cage. You can follow all the way down. Like that. And like Dad was talking about doing, you just keep cutting yourself back like this. Right along the ribs. Right along the ribs. That well, way you don't miss any of that scrolumptious, is that as, a word? As you're Meat. peeling, look how that fell out, folks. Steal this look piece, too. Look how that fell out. Yeah, I'm going to steal this piece. This is... It's all going to taste good, I can promise you. What do you think, Dad? That's your piece, I guarantee you. That's one you get. And there's another one. Mmm! Look at that. I'm already, that one's already ready to fry. Concludes. Folks, that concludes how uh, we do our deer. Like I said, we do it different. Do it a little different. Each of us have our own ways of doing it, but it gets it done, and, and there you have a delicious-looking piece of backstrap. Next time you see us, we might be eating this. The rest of this stuff, go, to, go down and feed the birds. Birds and coyotes and stuff. Y'all have a great day.